good news. My traffic manager called me and she says, hey, I've got this drive-by. Have you ever done a drive-by? And I went, a what? Because I, I didn't really know what she was saying. But that should have been the first clue that I hadn't done a drive-by. And uh, I said, and so she explains it to me. She says, you pick up a unit that is bound for a destination, but you stop before that destination at another dealership for them to look inside it and see if that is something that they would want. And then you go on to your to your final destination. I'm like, oh, no, I haven't done that before. So she says, yeah, we got we got a load going to Missouri. I forget where, you know me. And um, she says, they will reimburse you up to $75 on a motel and they'll pay you, I don't know, $20, $25 for the stop. I, I don't remember now. And then if you're delayed more than, oh, a half hour, I guess. I, I don't know the specific time, but they'll pay you delay pay if you're there longer than a given, I don't know, half hour. Hey, this is all new to me. And she says, would you like it? And I'm like, yeah, sure. I've not done that before. That way, let's go ahead and do that. That way I can check that off my list. I didn't even know it was on my list, and now I get to check it off my list. So I said, I am in deep South Carolina, but I will start heading toward Indiana. And uh, as long as I'm there by 9 o'clock, you know, I forget when, but I got to go. So I'm going to go. Catch you on down the road, though. from Shelbyville, Indiana. I just had to say something. There's something big getting ready to go down. A couple of flatbed trucks are coming in. And there's a crane right over there. So I think something big's getting ready to happen. I would love to stay around and watch the crane, but I got somewhere to go. Just want to share that with you. Howdy everybody from Goshen, Indiana. Alrighty folks, this is what we've got going on. I'm hooked to a 41 foot fifth wheel, shipping weight 12961 GVWR 16150. Origin, Goshen, Indiana. Destination, Dexter, Missouri. This unit has a couple of things going on. As I mentioned one of them earlier, it is a drive-by unit. And the special instructions on the bill of lading says, must stop in Festus, Missouri on 2-9 at 9.30 a.m. for drive-by. Call to arrange all of that. And then my second set of special instructions, it's a COD, which drivers to collect on delivery the exact amount listed be above do i have a an amount listed above anyway hmm call to confirm check is ready 
So I'll probably do that after just, I mean, probably after I do my exit call, I'll probably call the customer. That'd be a good time. It's still, it's still uh, normal business hours. So, All right, that's it for this unit. It's my first drive-by. All right, I'm going to walk you around the outside. And obviously, with it being a drive-by, they're going to open it up in, um, what did I say? Festus? They're going to open it up in Festus, so I might check it out then. Or I can wait till destination. Either way, I'm pretty sure we're going to get to see inside this unit. All right, let's go see the outside. This unit came with its own batteries, but they weren't charged up enough to raise the landing gear. And so I had to use my battery just to give the landing gear enough juice to raise and lower. So hopefully during the trip, the batteries that it came with will be charged up when I get to destination. One never knows. So, all right. At this point, I just need to do an exit, a yard exit, and then a yard exit call. So, I'll catch you guys on down the road. Morning everyone from Festus, Missouri. I am at the customer, and um, hold on, oh, somebody's walking over here, hold on. Okay. Won't be here till later. Gotcha. Well, the lady that I'm texting with, she asked me if I felt comfortable opening up the slides, and I'm going to go ahead and do yeah. that. And and so, yeah, we're just going to chill till okay. she gets here. She if said you... she's about 20 minutes out. Okay. There's All a right. bathroom in there too, if you need to. Use I appreciate it. Thank Make you. Coffee? 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 Yeah. You had me it's at just coffee. Just a Keurig machine. But... <laughs> That's okay. I feel fancy now, right? <laughs> Thank you. nice people anywho you kind of get what's going on so um yeah 20 minutes up the road yeah the the, the lady is um 20 minutes up the road i i'm kind of getting the feeling that it's an individual who wanted to look at the unit and this rv dealership was just a good stopping point by the way i've been on this road before when I pulled onto the road, uh, when I took the exit off the interstate, and I'm on this little highway, putzing down through here, I'm like, that looks familiar. And I'm like, oh, I know where I'm at. Back a while ago, I picked up a service unit from a residential area and took it down to, down to Alabama, Red Bay, Red Bay, Alabama. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I remembered that name. Anyway, anywho. I'm like, oh yeah, I know exactly where I'm at. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna mess around with the unit. I'm gonna see about sliding the slides out. And if everything goes good, you guys get a sneak peek before anybody else does. Alrighty, she's all slid out. So let's go take a look inside, yeah?
so this thing has tons of slides and this part of the bathroom right here is on a slide so that's slide number one slide number two is the bed it slides out and slides three and four are the living room and the kitchen that's the slide there and then the other slide is the living room I gotta say I'm kind of impressed with this unit nice alrighty so because of the time change I'm here real early but they're very nice I've got my coffee and I'm just walking around in the showroom floor I love camping stuff I'd buy that for my kiddos, but you know what? They wouldn't do it. They'd want to be on my lap. Isn't this thing cute? I can just see my daughter and son-in-law in something like that. You know, when you're young, you can do stuff like that. The salespeople are starting to trickle in, and they don't want to wait till 9.30 since I'm here early. There's a couple of them out there looking at the unit right now already. Me, I'm just going to stay in here and... Uh, Enjoy my coffee and not worry about life. There's an instruction sheet for the drive-by. What do you, I guess you could call it the do's and the don'ts. Don't say this, don't do that, do this, do that. So I'm just going to stay away from everybody so that nobody asks me any probing questions and I have to say, uh, you need to check with your manufacturer on that. Because that's what the instructions say. I'm supposed to tell them if they ask any questions about it like how did it ride how did it handle did you have any problems did you find anything wrong with it so I'm just trying to avoid everybody like the plague until they sign my document there's a there's a drive-by sheet that they need to sign I guess that's how I get paid so this is cool I don't mind it's all part of the adventure right alrighty folks Dexter Missouri made it to final destination and I had to hook up my uh, my my battery to get the landing gear to come down not my department don't know why it's doing that it's kind of their problem now right but we made it so they're checking the unit in now I've already submitted my post trip pictures and I'm just waiting on the final okay and then I'll pull my battery and um, grab my paperwork all right everybody delivery went well and i'm out of there and it's time for a reset it's time for an oil change and i'm in poplar bluff missouri and so i nabbed an airbnb i have an appointment in the morning to get an oil change and i thought oh i'll stop at the grocery store get some stuff for my Airbnb and there was an Aldi right next door to O'Reilly's so I go walking over there I forgot all about Aldi you need a quarter for the shopping cart and I'm like do they even take a credit card so I go in there yeah and I didn't have a card <laughs> And they don't have bags, they don't they don't supply shopping bags, so I just kind of carried everything around in the store in my arms. Kept me from buying a lot of stuff. I'll give it that. But shopping is done. And then uh, got my oil change in the morning. So at this point I get to head on to the Airbnb from here and worry about 
stuff tomorrow. I already have everything I need for my oil change, so we're good. It's going to be great. All right, let's get on over to that Airbnb and check it out. This is the drive back to the Airbnb. Alrighty guys, we're all going to see it together at the same time. I haven't even gone inside yet, so let's go on inside and take a look. I think I'm going to love this place.
Chloe and I do not like stairs, do we? You wanna go down in the basement? Uh, I think I got this whole place all to myself, guys. It's incredible. It just keeps going and going. Here. All right. I could have sworn on the pictures I saw um, a washer and a dryer. Found the washer and the dryer. All right. Yep, Chloe hates stairs. That's okay, honey, I do too. All right, well, let's go unload the truck, yeah? Squirts a show off. You're funny. Yeah, let's go unload the truck. Well, that's it, guys. That's the tour. This is great. Love the view. Alrighty. Yeah. Squirt's in trouble. That rooster's coming after her. Oh, I thought that rooster was going to kick your butt, girl. Everything that happens is motivation. All righty, folks. Our time at the Airbnb has come to an end, and it's time to hit the road. You know why? Because I've been dispatched on another load. Mind you, it's Saturday, but I was dispatched on the load Friday, so I said I was available as soon as my reset was up, and my traffic manager found me something, so we're on our way. So I've got the truck all loaded up. I'm just kind of doing, I just did one final walk around to make sure I got everything, which I think I did. So I'm out of here. Oh, this was fantastic. Mini vacation, of course you know how it is. Every time I do a reset, it's like a mini vacation because I take advantage of the Airbnb. And this one, mm, probably, probably my favorite test. So, alrighty guys. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thanks for coming along on the journey with me. I'm going to end this episode now because I'm on my way to Topeka, Indiana with one stop off. I have to drop off that COD check from the last load I was under, but no big deal. 
and we're ready to go so thank you guys for watching and just remember guys it is all about the perspective oh and i forgot to mention this load that i've been dispatched on first of all it's an apportioned plate unit and second of all it's a repeat customer it's a service unit and I've had this customer before and so I will let you kind of think about it and guess what customer that it could possibly be that I've had before as a service unit that's the hint it's a service unit I've had it I've had uh, the unit before and um, I'm gonna be returning it to the location that I had returned it to before so that's your clue I just thought I'd have a little fun with it you'll find out what it is on the next episode but I thought I'd give you a teaser now all right that's it that's all I have